In this video, we will discuss environmental sensors, specifically air quality gas, humidity, pressure, and temperature sensors. Gas sensors are utilized by determining air quality. By measuring a handful of the most common chemical compounds present in the air, volatile organic compound, or VOC, sensors can have a good indication of the overall air quality. Humidity sensors detect relative humidity of the immediate environments in which they are placed. Most humidity sensors use a capacitive measurement for determining the amount of moisture in the air. There are many different types of pressure sensors available, including a gauge pressure sensor, which measures a pressure relative to the atmospheric pressure, a sealed pressure sensor, which measures a pressure relative to some other known and fixed pressure, a differential pressure sensor, which measures the difference between two pressures, meaning the sensor sees each of the two pressures at the same time, and an absolute pressure sensor, which is used for sensing the barometric pressure. Sensors can be used individually or as a cluster for applications. Ideal applications for such sensors include GPS devices and mobile phones, wearables, navigation systems, flying toys such as drones, and IoT devices. And when air quality sensors are added to smart building systems, engineers can implement early warning of the buildup of hazardous gases and chemicals. So let's take a look at a sensor evaluation board. For this demonstration, I'll be using a sensor evaluation board, an Adafruit Metro, and an Arduino Sketch. This device, created by Adafruit, is the BME 680 sensor evaluation board. This board uses the BME 680 from Bosch, which is a four-in-one sensor, including temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and VOC gas sensing. The gas sensor is a metal oxide type sensor. Keep in mind that it provides one resistance value for the overall VOC content, so it cannot differentiate various gases. This evaluation board also has an onboard voltage regulator for generating 3.3 volts. And all the measured data from the BME 680 can be acquired using either SPI or I squared C. For my setup, I'm using the I squared C interface between the sensor evaluation board and the Adafruit Metro. So at this point, I'm going to download the Arduino sketch. And this is the address here, uh, Adafruit underscore BME 680. And I will download. Extract. So now I will, those are the files, so I'm going to copy this folder. And I'm going to paste that folder in the library of my Arduino folder. I will now open up Arduino IDE. And I will energize the board. So file examples and then down here and you should be able to see this Adafruit BE uh, BME 680 library and I'm using the bottom one, the test. So um, this code is uh, fairly short. The bottom of it down here, this is the output of what we will be measuring, the sensors. And so if you want to change uh, the units, you can go ahead and uh, make some modifications in this code here. I'm going to leave it as is. Also, something to note, um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using an I squared C interface, so I need to make sure that this line is uncommented. Uh, if you're using SPI, then you'll want to take a look at these two lines here. Also, I want to make sure that I'm using uh, the right board. And this is the wrong board, so I'm going to come down here and click on the Metro. And then I want to look at the port. And that one should be it. We'll uh, give it a try. So I'll upload. And then I'll wait for it to be done. Once it, when it, since, once it says done down here, I'll open up the serial monitor. Okay, it says done uploading. I'll click on the monitor and we should get the results. So there we go. So we can look at, uh, you know, the temperature. It's in degrees Celsius. We can see the pressure, humidity, 
and the gas, and then also the code provides an approximate altitude. So currently, I'm at about 2,700 feet. The elevation's about 2,700 feet here, which is the same of about uh, 820 meters. So the altitude reading is fairly accurate. And uh, another thing to mention, the gas, so again, that the reading is in resistance or kilo ohms. And according to the user guide, this reading here, it, should, it could take about 30 minutes for it to stabilize. And then after that point, you can use that value as your baseline. So right now, I'm going to put my finger, I'm going to ch change some of these, um, these, the values from these sensors. I'm going to put my finger on the BME 680 evaluation board, and the temperature should change. So you can see it going up. 22 degrees now, 23, so it reacts fairly quickly. I'll remove it, and we can see the temperature go back down. So it's going down slowly. And then also, I'm going to influence uh, the gas sensor. So again, gas is returned as a resistance value in ohms, and this reading is proportional to the amount of VOC particles in the air. And the higher the concentration of VOCs, that will make a lower, uh, lower resistance measurement. So I'm going to take this dry erase marker. First of all, if we look at the screen, the gas measurement is right now about 137 kilo ohms. So I'm going to take this dry erase marker and put right near the sensor. And we can see the gas sensor immediately drops down. It's about 2 kilo ohms, 2.75 kilo ohms. If we remove the dry erase marker, the gas sensor reading begins to go back up. So as you can see, the sensors react fairly quickly um, with the environment in which they're placed. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.